Um, I mean, it's not necessarily that I feel or our team felt that Brandon was really conducive to us. Um, why we reached out to Brandon, actually, is just because we know he's pretty tough. Um, you know, Harry was a, a pretty tough guy himself, you know, and undefeated when, when, we, when we came at him. Uh, Harry came, actually was a fight for us, that, that came to us. Uh, and we kind of just wanted to keep that momentum. You know, um, Higgins is just someone that, you know, you, you can't really go backwards after, after fighting someone like Harry. You can't really go backwards, you gotta go forward. And, and, and Higgins is just that next guy. He's just, he's just moving, he's moving up the ranks, so to speak. He's doing so fast and, you know, we just want to try and get in there and see what we can do. So, I mean, every, every fight that I've seen with Brandon, um, you know, I, you know he, he's a power fighter, he, he comes forward, you know, um, but ultimately I think my softball will be the ultimate, uh, you know, counter to his pressure. You know, um, you know, I think that, you know, with with the way that my team and I are working, uh, you know, just just putting on the angles with our softball, I think it's going to really change the game. So uh, originally going out there, um, you know, fighting with Harry and and what it, what it was like for us uh, going out there and, and we knew it was going to be uh, very tough. We knew it was going to be like sort of enemy territory, um, but but you really can't stack the cards up against us really much more than that. You know, uh, talking about, you know, getting 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 your feet wet and, and really learning how to, to get into this game. Uh, that's that's one of the most uphill ways of doing it. Uh, is going when everyone's against you, you know, because uh, ultimately it's easy to, to, to get in the ring and everyone cheer you on and, and get out there and do it, but, you know, it's another thing when everyone's telling you no, no, no. So you have to bring yourself to a different mental place. Um, and I think that when I was fighting and, and with Harry that I kind of discovered that, that mental place that night. Um, you know, the, the, the noise that they was making, it didn't really affect me. You know, even when I, even when I was times I felt like I was hitting him more, they were still, you know, screaming, trying to cheer him on, which, you know, rightfully so. But, you know, I just felt like everything that, all the support he brought, none of that matters because it's just me and him in the ring. I, definitely, um, Harry forced me to adjust a little bit, you know, in round one. Um, you know, I, he came with a lot of pressure, came with a lot of power. Um, and, you know, when he did that, it kind of exposed me to, well, I'm not going to try to just, you know, see who got the bigger balls in the situation. Uh, it exposed me to a different type of thinking that it really helped me uh, really put together the boxing for round two, three, and four. Uh, it wasn't about who was stronger. To be honest, I think Harry might have even been stronger. It was just the way that I used uh, my, my abilities and the way he used his that night, and that, that's it. I just, I think I outthought him through that, through that fight. It, it wasn't a matter of whether he was in shape or if I was in shape. I think we were both in shape. I think we was both good. Uh, I just think at the end of the day, I just outthought him in that. I graduated uh, community college, Bristol Community College, with a, uh, a degree in computer information systems, which is, uh, you know, uh, it's a glorified programming uh, degree or business programming degree. So, you know, a little bit of both. Uh, I do programming and business work as well. Uh, I'm going to Dartmouth um, for uh, management information systems, uh, which is more of the uh, technical part and, and, you know, intricacies of more business. Uh, but for the most part, uh, the, the degrees are going to just help me grow as a person, uh, help me, you know, grow with my business at Stay Ready as well. Uh, but ultimately, I just think that, you know, it, you can't really put the price on, on what I'm learning for knowledge. It's something I'm using daily. You know, it's not like, you know, when you go to school and you might feel like, oh, I'm never going to use this. I use everything that I've learned in school so far. I use it daily. I don't think it's going to be a stoppage. I, I predict that if anything, we'll go to we'll go to distance because I don't look at Brandon as a pushover in any way, um, and I don't I don't believe he thinks I'm a pushover. You know, he might say he he might say he thinks he's gonna get a stoppage or something, but you know, ultimately I don't think he thinks that. I think that he thinks he's gonna have to go to distance. I think that we both know you know it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fight, and um, you know it, it's gonna be just one of our 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 toughest fights for both of us because. You know, his power is definitely something to pay attention to, but I think my elusiveness is also something that he's going to have to really work around. Just come out, make sure you're there to support both Brandon and I. It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be one of the best fights. It's going to be one hell of a way to go ahead and open up the year.